Here's a wire with a basket hanging at the end of it. The Young Modulus is given to us. Ooh, Young Modulus, we usually use the symbol E. E, 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 you know, E. Uh, okay, that just tells you how, how, how powerful, <laughs> how stiff that wire is. So when a weight is added to the basket, now you throw in some fruits, the strain increases by 6 times 10 to the 5. So this is a change in strain. So Young Modulus is usually we calculate by stress over strain. Here you have a increase in strain. Eh? I just wrote stress, my bad. Change in strain. Our strain is this one. Why? Because you add more fruits. So this one is a change in stress causes a change in strain. So actually your Young Modulus, the more proper one you can write as a delta stress over delta strain. That's the more proper way. So what is the radius of the wire? If you don't know where to start, just write the Young Modulus equation and maybe we can find some useful information from there. Okay, so let's rewrite this Young Modulus equation. We know, we know the strain, right? Uh, we know the strain, we know the Young Modulus, but the stress, we might not have enough information. So I'm going to rewrite that as uh, delta stress equals to E times the change in strain. Okay, the wire extends, it becomes a bit longer. So we have a strain happening. So sigma, we don't know what the sigma is. Okay, never mind. Let's just write out the stuff we do know. 2.5 times 10 to the 11 pascals. Strain increase is 6 times 10 to negative 5. This will give us a big value of 1.5 times 10 to the 7. It is just a stress. Okay. Um, now we have kind of tested out something. We're like, how do we find the radius of the wire? The only place where radius appears is in stress because this stress has an equation. Let's write out the equation for stress. So stress on the left side, you can see this top little corner here. That stress is considered as force per unit area. Kind of like pressure, la, same unit. But don't forget the delta is a change in force. So let's add the delta here. Area got changed. Mm. No, we assume no. La. Force, yes. You throw some fruits in. This one is some, ooh. This is some delta F happening here. Put a fruit inside there. 30, 34 Newton fruit. Okay, I don't know why that is. Anyway, we force per unit area already. You can expand some more. Because we know the force is 34 Newton. Area, we kind of have to assume it's a circle because it told us circular cross section. So we're like, okay, if this is a wire with a circular cross section, what is this area? This area here can be written as pi d square over 4 or pi r square. Both are okay. I prefer to use diameter, but now they ask for radius, right? So we use pi r square. So this will give us pi r square. Ah, now we can use the calculation over there to calculate the thing. Okay, let's press calculator and see what we get for the radius. So if all press correctly, then this will give me a value of 8.494 times 10 to the negative 4. I mean, run off the 2SF, the closest answer will be 8.5 times 10 to the negative 4, and that is the correct answer. So for Young Modulus question, or if you feel a bit not sure where to start, just there's only one equation, just write it down. It's probably you probably have to use the equation, so just write it down. And from there, work through and see what information you have and you need. Okay, so that's C for this question. Well, that's all for this video. I will see you in the next one.